Today we're going to be creating a wooden sculpture and it's going to be very similar to the work of Deborah Butterfield and what we're going to do is we're going to basically be drawing with some materials. We've got some raffia grass, we've got some wood scraps, and then we also have some craft sticks which can be used and also broken into pieces. Um, I have a reference drawing over here and um, basically I'm going to be doing what like what we did when we practiced drawing is I'm going to start with the spine of this horse and the neck and so I'm going to begin with this a string here of this grass and um, I'm going to take a glue bottle you always want to make sure that your glue bottle is open so you twist so that it can be squeezed out Then I'm going to create a line that I think looks like the line that's on the back of this horse here. And then I'm just going to take this grass and I'm going to press it into the glue. I'm going to trim it off a little bit here. We won't be needing scissors for too much of this. So I'm going to start with that. And what we did when we drew was that we really um, looked for the shapes in there. So uh, on my drawing here, we've already got some ovals and things like that, but we're going to look even more for things. So I'm going to take some scraps here, and I might have to combine some things to make this shape here. This is kind of like an oval shape. So I'm going to create the haunches there of this horse and I'm just going to create some ladybug dots on the back of this piece of wood and I want that to be about the same size so maybe I'll take these two things here maybe I will take you can kind of play around with these I might take something like that and um, we can see how that will look, okay? And um, maybe I'll just like, you can take these and just snap them in half like that. And you can put that in there. It's also okay to just, you know, layer things up. I know that he's gonna be a little bit round there. So then I wanna make this part here. And I think I've got a nice place where I can put this leg like this. So I'm going to overlap a little bit. And then uh, I like this stick to be here, but I'm going to actually like snap it in half. I could take it and just do something like that and now I've got a nice slender piece that I can even break into a shorter part there <laughs> 